Okay, so today we're looking at a program here called, uh, I think it's called, well, this one's here is DVD Fab, but the program we're, we're looking at is Unifab. It's an upscaler AI for Mac, which is great. A lot of us like using upscalers, right? Especially if we have old footage that we need to integrate into new footage, or we have a camera that maybe shoots a high frame rate, but it shoots it in a lower resolution, or whatever, whatever the reason is that we need it upscale. Maybe we just need to be able to punch in a little bit more. You can get this, as you can see here, for Mac or for Windows. Uh, you do have the ability, it looks like, to download uh, it's a trial version of it. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know what the limitations are of the trial. This was provided to us by the guys here at DVD Fab uh, so that we could try it out. Big one for me, of course, is enlarging video resolutions up to 4K. Now, my hope would be in the future that this would allow us to punch it up to 8K or further. But as of now, 4K. And honestly, for the majority of us, getting our footage up to 4K is probably all we need. Uh, enhanced video quality. Yep, very good. Simple and clear operating. Yep, support video editing. Yep, yep, yep. All kinds of, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, you can free download, right? So... We'll, we'll see if this works. Now, if you wanted to buy this, just so you guys know, Unifab All-in-One, which is what I have, uh, $223. I believe that is in U.S. pricing. And that's because I needed it for multiple computers because I wanted to be able to test it on multiple computers. Um, you could do a lifetime license, which is only for one machine, or you could do just a, a one-year license for this. Now, one-year license really doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. If you're going to do a license for a machine, you might as well spend the extra $40 and just have it forever, right? Um, but for me, five machines. I do have three Macs, so this allows me to put it on all of those to try it. We are trying this today, just so you guys know. We are going to be running this on a Mac Studio, so that machine should be able to process it fairly quickly. Now, it's an M one max so not one of the newer ones but m1 max basically the base unit i do have the upgraded and upgraded video card in it but other than that just base unit i'm also going to be uh encoding the exact same files just so i can i can see and i'll tell you what the results are on an m1 macbook pro just that's off to the side here so that i can uh see time wise the the, the end result of of the clarity of everything is going to be the same i'm going to bring up the actual software here so you guys can see it and i'm also bringing up a stopwatch so that you can uh or i can tell you the time anyway this is unifab right here uh you can upgrade to this which i don't know what that is but as you can see i have access activated 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 video and larger a video smoother which is going to allow you to uh, change the frame rates of your uh, actual video if you wanted to go from like 24 to 30 or you wanted to go from 30 to 60 would, would be my guess a denoiser deinterlacer and a video converter honestly what we're going to be playing with today is a video in larger ai so if you were to click on that it, it'll take you just to their website so you can get some more information about it this is a screen here that pops up that you can just say don't show again and that's probably what i will do but uh you know if you wanted to see what was activated, that's a good screen and I wanted you guys to see it. All right, so this is it here. I'm just gonna bring it over because it always wants to show up on my other screen. So these are your basic stuff. So converters and compressors. Your AI stuff is your enlargers, your smoothers, your denoisers and your deinterlacers. Now, if any of you wanna see how well the uh, smoother does, uh, let me know in the comments below and what I'll do is I'll make another video and we'll we'll take something that's like 24 frames or 30 frames and we'll move it into 60 frames just to see how uh, that looks. But I need to make a whole new video for that because I need to be able to post it to YouTube in that frame rate. Because if I put it to 60 but you guys see it in 24 frames, it really doesn't make any sense, right? So we're going to go to the enlarger here. And what's nice about this is it's super simple, right? Click plus to button or drag your files here. Now, I like this back here. I'm hoping that's true. File z z so that you can actually do a batch. Because a lot of times, depending on how long a video you have, uh, doing up is not a fast process. Just realize that. So be able to put like whatever, three files in there or 30 files in there. You can just set it and forget it and let it go which is what we're gonna do today. 
So uh, choose your AI enhancement mode and then click start. So I have a folder over here. You guys don't necessarily see it yet, but I'm just going to drag the files. There's a bunch of files here and it opens them all up, which is fantastic. And you will see that by default, it is doing an up-res to 720p. So this one is a 720 by 900. This one is, uh, it was originally a 38 a full 4K, but I've uh, lowered the resolution down to 480. This one also down to 480. Uh, this is a 1080 file, and this is a 720 by 480, like animated. So what we'll do here is we'll take every one of these and put it to 4K, right? 4K, 4K, 4K. We're gonna 4K a lot of them. And what I'm gonna do here is uh, these are all set, same as source, no. I actually have a folder on my computer, allow, but I'm not here actually, um, called upres. These are gonna be files that will be upres. And I'm doing this kind of, I wanna say sort of, live with you guys up res so that again you're not seeing that i'm doing any kind of extra processing so this is this is all here good to go and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this uh but i'm also going to do it on my mac and i'm going to see how long it takes on the mac studio versus the mac book again a macbook m1 pro just the first m1 that came out and uh once this finishes i'm going to hit start uh, i'll let you know how long it took on both machines so i'll be right back when the up res is complete all right so we have finished the up res now timing wise just so you guys are aware the mac studio did i think it's six files all different resolutions again somewhere as low as like 360p 480 720 960 all the way up to 1080 being uh up res to 4k grand total the mac studio did it in about 15 and a half minutes again i don't know the exact length they're not overly long clips so just be aware it's not a fast process the macbook which is this the m1 did it in 36 minutes definitely a lot longer so if you are going to be doing long files i actually put a 1080p file in both of them just to see how long it was going to take because it does have at the bottom, an estimate of how long the up res will take. And the 1080p, I had put in like a, I don't know what it was, like a five or 10 minute video clip into it. And it was gonna take like six hours on my Mac studio. And it was gonna take uh, like 13 hours or something like that is what it estimated on the MacBook Pro M1. So again, if you're doing stuff, this is, uh, thank, thank goodness that it can do cues. So you can queue it up and just kind of let it go. If you do need to be able to do this and run other stuff, let's say you were doing it for work, it's nice to do it on one machine and let another machine not be doing the processing because it does take up a fair bit of your CPU power and things like that. So just kind of be aware. But yeah, faster machine definitely, definitely plays a part. I've seen some programs that, you know, they, they don't really care that much. They max out at a certain thing and it is what it is, but over twice the speed on my, my uh, Mac studio. Anyways, I have Final Cut up here. You guys can see it. Uh, and so we, what we're going to do, and this is, you know what, I'm not here to tell you if you think it's, uh, if I think it's good or, you know, I think you should buy it or anything like that. Uh, what I want to do here is you guys will see clips and what I'll do is I'll run the clip in full screen at its lower, lower resolution. So in its original, so for instance, uh, let's see this clip right here, which the original was 640 by 360. I'll run that. And then right after it, I'll run the 4K version of it. And then what I'll do is I'll put them together. So the left side will be the low res and the right side will be the high res. Anyways, you guys will be able to take a look at this. Uh, if you have any other video uprising software, maybe just to see how it compares, leave a comment below. I'd love to see what program you guys are using and uh, what you think of it, if it's, if it's actually useful. One of the things I do realize is it doesn't matter if it's 480 or 720 or 1080. If it's recorded in good 1080 or good 4, 480 or good 720, that helps the up press just look better all by itself. If it's really shaky and overly compressed, then that, that hurts. doesn't matter what. I'm going to put some of this clips up there and uh, you guys can take a look. 
and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Anyways, this is the uh, Unifab Upres AI video enlarger. I'll put links below. Because they sent it to me, they may have given me a discount code. I'm not 100% sure, but if it is, it's down there. So I'll see you guys next video. Later.